G'day guys, Luke from Tackle West here. Um, we're just going to talk about a couple of um, popular products at the moment, which is the new Jew heads and Jew bombs from Vexed. Um, we're just going to run through how we rig them. Um, these are really good for bottom fishing, for Jew fish, snapper, um, ball chin, pretty much any, any um, demersal fish. Um, but there's a couple of particular ways on how to rig them. Um, and what tends to work better for us is when we rig them with a with an assist hook um, attached to the bottom, kind of like this, to the soft plastic. So we'll run you through a um, couple of different ways on how to rig it. All right, so we've got a couple of different um, heads here and you can fish them as they are. Um, but what we like to do is we like to put the flashy Oki head assist on so the way we rig them you get your assist now to attach the assist to a head you're going to need a split ring and a solid ring now you just loop the solid ring onto the assist cord like that and you'll need a pair of split ring pliers to open the split ring and attach the solid and the split ring together. And it's as simple as attaching that to the bottom of the, the dew head and just split ringing it on. Make sure when you do it as well, you get the right size split ring. You don't want a split ring that's too too small. Um, you don't want to deform it when you put it on. So that's a size eight harbor. Uh, it's 120 pounds, so there we have it. It's perfect. Uh, what's this eight inch Z-Man? Let's just measure it up, get a rough idea. And just pin it. Just pin this. Just lightly in the back. There we go. It's rigged up perfect to catch a dewy. All right, so we'll rig just a little paddle tail as well with the same rig. <clears throat> but when we rig the paddle tails, um, we use a smaller assist. And I don't hook it onto the, onto the paddle so it doesn't um, stuff up the action. But the same thing, just lightly rig it. And pull it onto the jig head. <clears throat> And just leave it like that. I mean, you can pin it in the in the tail, but I like to just run these ones free with the jerk. You know, we have it have it pinned. But yeah, simple as that. All right. So with these soft plastics rigged up as it is, it's still working quite slow. A lot of people made a mistake was actually quite jigging and jerking them. Now, the problem with jerking them, they'll basically just catch around like that. So. With these, they have their own action, so working quite slow, it's literally just up and down, you know, and how you do with a motion of the rod, it's basically almost like a yo-yo effect, so basically just lift and drop, if you need to pick up line, pick up line, but then don't see it, just lift and drop slowly, so, because your boat, the boat pitching will be picking the slack line up as well, so go slow, you'll get more fish that way. All right, another new product that has literally just come out from Vexed, um, We've been getting a lot of ask for is extra long hooks for the Jew bombs. So they've finally released it, um, and they come in three different sizes: a 6070 and an 80. Um, so for the guys that are fishing a larger soft plastic, um, you've now got the hooks, hooks to fish them. Um, so yeah, they've just come out, and you can add them to your existing Jew bombs um, just by changing them out with the split ring. Away you go. They're in store now, so come and grab them.
It's worth picking your, your rod and reel out for, for jigging. This is an example, of, a really good example of um, what sort of outfit to, to go for. This particular outfit here consists of a Storm Komoku jigging rod, rated to up to PE3. And the matching reel to go with it will be a Daiwa Saltus in a 4000 size. Um, and this particular outfit has a great um, action that will allow you to work light jigs as well as soft plastics. So it's got a fairly light sort of action in the tip, fairly fast so to speak, so to speak. but when you do want the grunt, it has the, the power there to get the fish up off the bottom. Without spending too much money, I mean, like these rods here, they're $250, the reels are $350. Um, you, know, you buy some good quality braid and, and an outfit like this you'll be able to do all your light jigging, um, light soft plastic work. I mean th this is the kind of outfits that we're using for um, you know, dewfish and snapper and baldies and, and pretty much all demersal fish. Um, they're, they're pretty much you know, value for money. It's a good little outfit and it's going to get you out there and catch some fish hopefully.